Hi there, Steve Coffin here, and today again I'm going to talk about language learning, of course. And in particular, I want to talk about the learning zone and the comfort zone. Now, obviously, learning a foreign language is all about getting outside your comfort zone because we are typically most comfortable speaking our own language. However, because speaking a foreign language is something that's desirable for many, many reasons that I have talked about in my videos, all the reasons why we want to be able to access another language, another culture, communicate with people in another language. So it's a desirable thing to do, but it is something that takes us outside of our comfort zone. Different people, of course, have um, different levels of resistance to getting outside of their comfort zone. So, um, and, and I'm going to leave a link to uh, various or at least one uh, page I found on the internet which talks about the comfort zone and the learning zone and sort of suggests that when we are in a comfort zone, we're not learning new things. In, it's not that we're stagnating, but we're not expanding. Once we push ourselves into the learning zone, we're meeting new challenges, but then as we overcome these and meet the new stimulus and absorb it all, we grow, we learn, and that's the learning zone. Uh, some people even talk about the panic zone where we're in a zone where things are too difficult for us and we can't cope and then it's panic. So obviously in learning a language, we want to push ourselves outside of our comfort zone. However, I have always found as a strategy that it's very important to find as many ways as possible to take some level of comfort, some of your comfort zone, into the learning zone. Now, what do I mean by that? For example, I've said before, I don't like to get too deep into the sort of exotic, esoteric aspects of another culture. In other words, things that are very unfamiliar to me, it could be the festivals that are related to that culture, it could be uh, special names they have for members of the family, special customs, all of those things I will eventually learn. But when I start into a new language, I would rather start with situations that are familiar to me. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people find it easier to learn a language using, say, literature translated from their own language. So Harry Potter, for example, where they're already familiar with the story. I always start a new language doing our mini stories at link because those are sort of familiar situation scenarios things that people do in any culture, meet with their friends, eat food, clean up their room. So these are also very familiar situations. Uh, and the more familiar something is, the more comfortable we feel. I always like to develop a high level of, of listening comprehension and reading comprehension and a, a significant level of vocabulary so that I can understand what is said. That again increases my comfort level so that when I'm speaking with people, at least I can, you know, almost or try to or feel that I can understand much of what is being said to me, even if I struggle to speak. And of course, in struggling to find words and in and worrying about whether I use the correct, uh, you know, structure, that gives me a, a sense of, you know, lack of comfort. But if I have a comfort on the comprehension side, I am again, carrying some of my sort of comfort zone into my learning zone, uh, even in terms of the kinds of learning activities that we do. We should focus in on the situations that we're more, most comfortable in. So uh, even in terms of reading, of course, I like to read on link. I like to look up words. But there's also something comforting about holding a paper book. It's something that I've always done. And so I typically, as I've said, get a starter book for a language that I'm starting into. Uh, I like when I reach a level where I can start to read and there aren't too many new words, I like to read books away from the computer. Because again, I'm introducing something that's comfortable to me, something that I'm used to doing that increases my comfort level while I'm in the learning zone. Um, some of my learning activities. Uh, for example, at link, are you a sentence review function? Uh, obviously, if I'm focusing in on, you know, a particular sentence and using the 
matching pairs to go over some of the vocabulary and then reassembling the sentence at the end. These are learning activities that in a way slow me down because I'm not acquiring new words. But by the same token, there's a sense of comfort in focusing in on this level of detail. And, and it's also an activity which is pleasing. So if you have a, an activity, a learning activity that is pleasing, that also introduces a level of comfort. I was even thinking that now with my Polish, I'm going to try writing. You know, I'm reluctant to write in languages where the writing system is different because, again, it's a, another level of stress trying to write in this new writing system. Other people may be more comfortable doing that. However, Polish is written in the Latin alphabet, so it's familiar. And because Polish has rather unique sort of spelling system where the S, Z, C, Z, and whatnot, that, uh, and write, writing by hand is something that's familiar to me. And apparently writing by hand is good for us in terms of learning. So I'm going to do some, some writing by hand. I even started doing that. When I do the sentence mode, I then have the sentence, which I've reassembled. Then I write that sentence out by hand. Again, a familiar activity that's bringing some familiarity, some comfort into my learning zone. Uh, I think even dealing with content that's of interest. So typically content that is of interest is content that's familiar to us. So again, when we have familiar uh, topics, which might be sports if we're into, the, in, into sports or anime or anything that's familiar to us, that increases the level of familiarity, the comfort that we experience while we're in that learning zone. So uh, just some things that I was thinking about that relate to this issue of, of uh, learning another language, which ultimately is all about getting outside of your comfort zone. Uh, but there are things that we can do to increase the level of comfort in that learning zone. Another one, now that I think of it, is, is while I'm learning that language, I try not to think of myself as a foreigner learning a strange language but rather as someone who wants to penetrate that cultural environment and be like them. So if I am like them, then I feel more comfortable being with them. And that, again, is an element of comfort within the learning zone. So I hope that was of interest to you. It's something that came up uh, while I was uh, doing some research on the Internet. Uh, thank you for listening. Bye for now.